Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can optimize SQLite performance using in-memory database. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you know, reading and writing data to a disk is always slower than loading data into memory and working with it. So in this example, I will show you how you can actually increase the performance of SQLite database using in-memory database, okay? So instead of creating a disk file for our database, we will create the database in the memory. So in order to do that, it's really simple. You have to type the command SQLite then instead of actually giving the name to our database we just make it like that memory and not forget the double point before and after and we hit enter so now we have created actually a database in memory so let's for example import this huge file into our memory database so I will use the command dot import and I will specify the name of this file which contains actually 9 million rows so the name is yellow trip data and the date CSV. then we can give the name of our table so let's for example call it trip data and I will hit enter of course it will take some time because it is such a huge file but the time will be always faster than the time if we use a disk or a database disk file here okay and even the queries will be faster than if we have a database in our disk file. Here we go. Now the data has been inserted in our table. So let's verify that we have a table. Indeed, we have a table created. Let's see the schema of this table here, which is trip data. Okay, we have all the fields that has been created automatically from the import. So now let's execute a simple query that counts how many lines we have in our file here, in our actual table. So select count all from our table, which is trip data. As you can see here, we got the result immediately. I had no delays because actually we are working on a database which is loaded in memory and not in hard disk. Okay. So now let's try or actually we can, even if it's in, in the memory, we can save it in our disk. So in order to save this, this database that is now in memory, we can save it to our disk using the command that save. And we can specify any file we want. For example, let's just call it uh, New York City .gp. Okay, now as you can see here, the database has been created and it is now in our disk and not more in memory. So let's exit. And now let's try to execute the same query that we have executed here, but this time using the disk file. So I will connect to this database, which the name is New York City. Okay, so now let's execute the same query. But remember before, we had the result almost 
immediately now let's see how it will take to execute the same query as you can see here the result is not anymore immediate because the database is now in our disk and not in memory so of course it will count all the rows in our table and it will display the results so we have here 9 million rows as before but this time it has take a long time in order to execute the query so this is one of the advantages of using any memory database using SQLite so when you are using any memory database actually you are increasing the performance of our database and later using the command that save you can save it to your hard disk so that was just a brief introduction to how to use any memory database using SQLite as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye